Good afternoon, folks. It's uh, May 6, 2019. I was just going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Well, what do I have here? Let's see. It's a game. Small card game. What is it? Oh, yeah. Nuclear poker. <laughs> Nuclear poker. Uh, it's a funny thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm a... Uh, my um, official... My formal educations in comparative linguistics, and I've even taught it, so I do know how to pronounce that. Who, who was that? Was that maybe President Bush who called it nuclear, and a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of media, saying, "Oh, he don't even know how to pronounce nuclear." I said, uh, "I remember that going on. I remember thinking, wow, you know, what was he saying wrong?' <laughs> uh, just you know, um, maybe because." I know how to pronounce things. I may use the uh, colloquial pronunciations and terms, but I do know how to pronounce things. Uh, but no matter, I'll try to pronounce it right. Nuclear, nuclear poker. Well, what is nuclear poker? You know, I heard about this game from a, a friend of mine, and I said I, I gotta look into it. I one thing about my collection, if I go through it with the except, uh, there's probably a couple of major themes. One of them. One of the major themes is going to be um, games around and about uh, La Reconqu <coughs> Reconquista de España. Uh, Me encanta este juego. Those games I, I love. Anything to do with the uh, Reconquista of Spain is probably one of the most important things in Western history, period. And I, I look at that with another one. Is a, was a, another very important time in Western history, and that's uh, anything dealing with with uh, nuclear war. Um, you know, I, I think it's an intellectual curiosity, and thank God, uh, until this date, we've never had a full blown nuclear war. But um, I think intellectual curiosity. I've always wondered how it would work. <laughs> I mean, it sounds odd, but you know, just just. Um, you know what's what's going on with it? Um, would first strike? How would that go? Be how would that work? Would you know nuclear winter? How would that you know if if that's put enough? How much? How many uh, ICBMs would would actually put enough dust to cause nuclear winter? I you know all this at this point sort of theoretical, and uh, you know so I've always been kind of had a obsession with the. Uh, nuclear war in that way. Not that I want it to happen at all. Um, I don't know anybody that wants it to happen. I don't think that there were too many generals, you know, like what you're going to see in something like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, some of the classic movies. But this here, as I understand, was uh, designed by um, a British fella. Vinay Gupta, 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 I don't know. Um, and so I just want to take a look at it and really kind of see what it's about. Let's read a little bit here. Uh, this simple card game started life as a strategic simulation aimed at those generals who were only children at the height of the Cold War. We all too easily forget that the nu nuclear equilibrium established after the Cuban Missile Crisis is still present today. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the bombs are still out there. The bees still sleep in their silos. Sleek, nightmarish, play the game and feel them at their diabolical rest. Thrumming. Yeah, uh, at the end, Nuclear War is brought to you by Vinay Gupta. So, for sure, for sure, just a simple, ah, um, you know, he says it was developed for those generals who weren't old enough to remember the height of the, uh, you know, I don't ever remember it being used in any professional war gaming. Um, that might be who it was aimed at. I don't remember that being the case. Of course, I don't know everything in all professional war games, but I, I, I just don't remember it, you know. Um, there are, There have been some... Um, some games that were professional 
war games, if you want to call them that, that, that have found their way on the mass market. Uh, there was one put out, I believe, that uh, Volko Runka might have done. Um, at, the, at, the, at the beginning, a CIA game that, that came out, a uh, CIA card game, but I don't remember him. Um, I don't remember this having anything to do with it. What do we got here? Now we got this is but this this I got this from a game crafter, um, so I paid a little more than I wanted to. I paid about twenty three or twenty four dollars for a simple card game, but I, I wanted it, so I did. Uh, rules. Wow. Rules. One page of rules looks like no no no. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's two pages of rules. Two pages of rules looks like don't look like a lot to it. Let's see the objective. Successfully test a nuclear weapon. To do this, players need to acquire the four different technology cards. Okay, all right. Phase one. Let's see phase one draw or trade. Phase two, nuclear test. Phase three, acquiring weapons capability. Phase four, superpower emergence. And nuclear exchanges. Wow. Oh. How many cards are in here? What does it say? Yeah, can't really tell right now. I guess I could count them. I'm not going to do that, but... Back of the cards, are they all the same? Looks like they're all back the same. So let's okay, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> it does kind of remind you of a. Uh, it is reminiscent of a uh, professional war game. It's just functional, plain graphics. Got my camera. Functional plain graphics. It does remind you of that. So. A professional war game. What do we have? Short range. Second strike. Long range. Well, short range. Well, super super power. And what's that? What is this? Test. Huh. No mushrooms left. Yeah. Well. Mushroom clouds. Got a warhead. Got some warheads there. Refinement. Uran uranium. So it says it plays four to eight. I'm gonna have to wait for a, a game night unless I can get my wife and a couple of kids of mine to play. I got a boy. I'm 19. He's no, he's a big video gamer. The girl might play, but if I can get her off of social media. <laughs> so that's superpower. That's a test. So it is. It looks like a very, seems like a very simple game. Like I said, it does have that feeling of a, <laughs> look at that right there, of a professional war game in, in some way. So... There's the cards. Yeah, the cards. Cards seem to be decent card quality. Yeah. Not great. Typical. Typical card quality of, uh, you know, the game craft. You ever got anything from there? Usually regular card quality. But, uh, man. I'm going to sign off here for a break. So, there it is. Nuclear poker. Y'all have a great day.